Spook. Hello, Bookworm family. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Danny. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I'm posting lots and lots and lots for the month of October. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, please be sure to do that. It is at the underscore dancing underscore bookworm. I post on there full book reviews and bookish content. So for the month of October, I'm going to be testing out some new face paint. Um, given the fact that we have to wear masks at work, I can't do my full costume like I normally do. So technically the lips would not be on. But I'm playing around with some eye makeup that I could do to kind of give that Halloween effect since I love to dress up But not feel pressured to have a full costume this year because it will be very hard with all the COVID stuff that we have to maintain at work. So today's is inspired by Hocus Pocus. It's got the book It's got the green purple and gold colors and this is inspired by the book the eyeball on the book like right here um, And then I just did the lips kind of of like funky to go with the gold or the green and purple um so yeah just kind of did something funky today I did not wear this on my adventure today which I'm going to talk about in a second I just did this and now I'm recording the intro um anyway so today I took my niece and nephew my oldest niece and my nephew um Ava and Jacob to Barnes and Noble and Chili's and my original goal was to go there and find Halloween inspired books but none of them really stood out to us so here's that adventure for you guys to see. Where are we? Jacob, where are we? Ava, where are we? Bookstore. Yeah, Barnes and Noble. Me. You wanna go look for some Halloween stuff? Yeah. yeah. So we found Jacob's section of Halloween stuff. Look at, we've got a vampire book, or we've got creepy carrots up there. That one looks funny. We have Good Night Goon, huh? You love the monster books. All right, let's see what else we got. You like the puppets, huh? We are not getting a stuffed animal today, though. We have so many stuffed animals, but I think we are going to get the pigeon book for Jacob and Riley because they love the pigeon. We're not going to get a stuffed animal today. We'll find we'll find something cool to get, okay? Are you putting on a puppet show on the stage? What's your puppet show about? Oh. It's about a bunny? I love it. All right, so we found lots of Halloween books. This is I don't know if any are really standing out to me. I don't know if I'm going to feel Halloween books today. Oh, this is the most scariest book. What is it, honey? That is pretty scary. Jacob, come over here, my friend. Jacob really likes this flamingo toy that I think he's going to end up getting. Even scary. Oh, some of these are really cool, but I just don't know if I'm in the mood for them. I did read this one last year. That one was good. Creepover sounds pretty interesting. <laughs> That's a middle grade. Jacob, you're not supposed to be sitting on those. You're getting that toy? You put the flamingo back for that toy? All right. Eva, where are we now? Chili's. Chili's. We're getting some lunch. What are you doing, sir? You got your chocolate milk? And she, he has a booster seat. Yeah, so this is what Ava got at the store. Even though I said no Fluffy. stuffed animal, she still ended up with a stuffed animal somehow, who's named Fluffy. What did you get to drink? Your drink is super cool. Root beer. Root beer comes in a bottle. All right, let's go through and see what we got today. So Jacob got this. I'm going to let him play with it in a second. But it's a Ryan's World toy that you basically like smash open and it's got mystery prizes. That's what Jacob got. We got Riley, a little stuffed Elmo. She loves Elmo. We got... Ava got this. Oh. <laughs> Ava got this book of pets to read, and Ava picked me out this bookmark because I like to get bookmarks every time I go. I'm not meow. I'm reading. Then I got two classics. I got Heidi, which I don't own, and Black Beauty, which I also don't own, which I'm excited to get to. Um, then I got Jacob picked me out this bookmark which is a sloth it says hang out and read because sloths are his fave we got this book for riley it's jumbo's jungle colors and what else did we get we got a lot of stuff we got wondersmith the calling of morgan crow i read this the first book recently and i loved it this is by jessica townsend and 
The last book we got is The Pigeon Has to Go to School by Mo Willems. We love Wait, the pigeon can I read books. That? Sure. All right, hold on. I'm going to get Jacob set up with his toy. Ava, what'd you get? I got mini cheeseburger. Oh. Jacob got grilled cheese and french fries. His favorite french fries. And I got a chicken sandwich and french fries. So the books I ended up getting for myself were Heidi by uh, Johanna Spirey. Um, and this is about a five-year-old girl who is sent to live with her grandfather that everyone thinks is kind of evil, but she actually ends up forming a really nice bond with him. Then I got Black Beauty, which is about a horse which is sent to live with a different uh, group of people than the farm that he knows. And then I got Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend, which is the sequel to Nevermore, which if you guys did not read Nevermore, um, it is about, uh, basically Morgan Crow is a cursed child who is doomed to die on her 12th birthday, um, and she is taken away to a place called Nevermore, and this is the sequel to that. So, yeah, that's what I ended up getting for myself. I also got two bookmarks that the kids picked out for me that you guys already saw. And yeah, now I'm just kind of chilling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!